Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I know there's a lot of interest at the moment about uh, dimmable LEDs running off a Sonoff module and I thought I'd just quickly run through uh, what I've got going at my place. I've been using it now for a couple of months uh, for downlights in my bedroom and living room. Really happy with it, it's been working really well. So I just thought I'd give you a, a quick rundown. Um, I've got conventional LED downlights. I'm sure a lot of people are used to seeing things like that. These are just um, 8 watt, 3000 Kelvin conventional downlights. They are dimmable downlights, but they're not smart in any way. They came with a dimmable downlight driver. These are a constant current driver. Um, the dimmable side of this is actually on the line voltage. You would use a leading edge or a trailing edge line voltage dimmer. They would deal with it. They do internal PWM to dim down the constant current drive to the LEDs. Uh, you can use Z-Wave dimmers and things like that to dim the primary side. I wanted to do something a little different and actually change the driver modules. And I found these Meanwell drivers. They're the LCM range. I've got a 25 watt driver here. They also do, I think, a 40 and a 65 watt driver as well, which means you can drive more lights. Being 8 watt fixtures, I can easily drive three of my downlights with one of these. Uh, in the living room, I actually have a 40 watt version of this because I'm driving four of my downlights. Um, as you can see here, a little Sonoff module. This is a Sonoff Basic. Um, as you've probably seen Justin and Rob doing lately, PWM output. What I'm doing a little bit differently is I'm using a digital level, um, basically what would be a three volt to five volt logic converter but the one I've got can actually drive 10 volts on the output. And uh, what's important with these Meanwell drivers is they actually have a 10 volt PWM dimmer input into the driver. And then they take the, uh, they basically create the constant current dimmed LED output. So I'm taking the three volt PWM into my little line driver circuit here. Um, I'm actually got a little 10 volt voltage regulator there. If you had a 10 volt regulated power supply, you wouldn't need the little uh, 78L10. Uh, I don't, I've got a 14 volt power supply, so I've just fed it through a little voltage regulator there. Voltage, the 10 volts DC goes into the high side, three volts DC goes into the low side, PWM from the Sonoff goes into the low side, and then we get a high level PWM output that's fed into the dimmer drive circuit of the mean well and then that in turn drives the LED. So if I bring up Home Assistant here, where I'm talking to the PWM output channel, uh, zero, light is off at the moment. If I drive it to 1023, you'll notice that the downlight comes on at full brightness. And for example, if I drove it at 500, you would see roughly half brightness down to say 50, you'll see it dim down further again, down to about 35. These LEDs that I've got are quite cheap. They won't dim all the way down, but that's still considerably less bright than um, it would be at 1024 level. Oh, sorry, 1023. Wondering why it wasn't doing anything. 1023, you can see that it's a uh, considerably brighter, it's overexposing the camera at that point. Um, and then I use uh, either a little slider control or node red to send variable PWM messages scaled to between 35 and 1023 to drive the lights at whatever level I want. So I hope that helps. I'll include links to the Meanwell transformers and also the logic level converter that I'm using. Uh, in the notes below and if anybody's got any questions please feel free to let me know. Uh, I'm sorry my production values aren't up to what you're seeing from uh, Dr. Z's and Rob at the moment. Uh, I hope if some of my projects uh, come along nicely that I'll actually produce some videos with high production values but at the moment I just thought I'd put this together so you guys can have a look at uh, my dimmable LED. Thanks for watching.